Hey, this is Julie with Mahalo.com and I'm going to go over how to reduce fractions. Now, reducing a fraction means making it smaller, like the, as small as it could possibly go, but still be an equivalent value. It's important to know if your instructor wants you to reduce all fractions. So if we were to try and reduce this, at a glance, someone might say, oh, to reduce it, I divide everything by 2. So if I were to divide the top and the bottom by 2, 4 divided by 2 is 2, 8 divided by 2 is 4. Now while that is a reduced answer to this, it is a smaller fraction of equivalent value, this is not reduced completely. So if this were on an exam and the direction said reduce all fractions completely, if you put this as your answer you would get it incorrect. So make sure you're reducing completely. And what that means is when you're finding out what number goes into both the top and the bottom, you're looking for the biggest number that goes into both the top and the bottom. So even though 2 does go into it, it's not the biggest number. What's the biggest number that goes into both 4 and 8? It's 4. So we're going to divide the top and the bottom by 4. So in this case, 4 divided by 4 is 1, and 8 divided by 4 is 2. So the correct answer in reducing completely the fraction of 4 eighths is 1 half. Thanks for learning with me today. If you'd like to learn more about this topic or anything else having to do with math, please feel free to click the links on the screen. And if you have a specific problem or request, you can email them to requests at mahalo.com. See you next time.